Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and uh, we're continuing on with our discussion of loops. Uh, now we're doing going to do the do while loop, and you'll notice I'm using a Mac uh, instead of the PC. I thought I would give the uh, Apple users uh, a little bit of time here. Plus, uh, while it's rendering another video I, uh, on my PC, I can actually create another one on this one. So. Uh, and be a little bit more productive. Well, let's do a do while loop. It's a little bit different than the while loop. The while loop is a pretest loop, and the do loop is not. The do loop will always execute once, and uh, um, it's important to understand the difference. We don't use the do loop as often as we use the while or the for loop, but we do use it. Okay. So here is um, uh, what we're going to uh, do right now. You'll notice I get the little. Uh, caution says this uh, val variable hasn't been used. So I'm going to um, do the uh, do loop here. So I'm going to say uh, do. Okay. Now in the do loop, uh, it's just going to execute everything once. So I'm going to say C out. Uh, enter in a number. Number colon. Okay. And as CN, I'm going to input the number. And if you've uh, uh, watched the uh, while loop, you're going to see this is a very similar program. Very similar program. And we'll point out the, the difference between this and a do while loop or while loop. If a number is uh, equal to zero, okay, we want to uh, continue. Okay, else if uh, number is a less than zero, we want to break. So uh, that being said, then uh, we say C out. Okay. You entered number. Adding adding one make it and then we'll go ahead and put the uh, the incrementer right here the uh, and then we're going to change that we're going to may actually make it a, a pre-increment so it actually prints out the new value and I remember that lecture on that okay uh, break all right, we have an error here. Let's see what it is. Okay. We're going to go up here and we're going to build for running. And we're going to see what the error is. Build failed. Okay. Expected while op. See, we forgot to put our while there. Very good. While. Okay. Number is less than 100. All right. Now it's also important here we put the semicolon. So let's review the difference between the while loop and a do while loop. The while loop is a pretest, which means that before it gets into the loop, it's actually going to do the test up here. The do, on the other hand, will execute the loop once, always. It will execute it at least once. It'll just come in and do it, and then it will do the test. Is it time to stop the loop? It's a subtle difference, but it's an important difference. If there are instances where you always want to execute the loop at least once, then the do is the one you really should use. It's a, it's a very, very important concept. Like our other program, what this is going to do is we're going to enter in a number, and if the number is equal to zero, we're going to bypass all the rest of the code, do the test, and continue on. If the number is less than 100, or less than zero, it's a negative number, we're going to stop the loop entirely. Otherwise, we're going to print out, you entered the number itself. We're going to say adding one uh, to make it, and we're going to print out the number with one added to it, and we're going to continue to do our test. It looks like the program works okay. It looks okay. We're going to build for running. Build was successful, and we're going to run it. Okay. Build was successful at belly in. Now you'll see down at the bottom, enter in a number. And as long as we enter in, notice that it's entering in the number. It's adding one to it. Everything works okay. 
we enter in zero, it's just going to say, please enter in a number again. Remember that continue statement? Look up at the continue statement. It says if number equals zero, it's going to continue. It goes down to the curly right bracket right before the while, which is right here. It does the test and then goes back up and does the loop again. We enter in a negative number, negative one. End of program, it stops. Okay, and that is a do while loop. Now remember, it's going to execute it at least once. Make sure that you have the brackets. The do must have the curly brackets. It's important that you put them there. It will always require them. And the while comes at the end of the statement, and be sure to put the semicolon right there after the while to end the do while loop. All right, that is our uh, do while loop. Uh, practice that a couple times.